It's summertime. What better way to kick back and relax than to win some crypto? All you got to do is be a subscriber and like and comment on all of our videos during the months of July and August for your maximum number of entries. We'll have 17 winners and it's decentralized. So you get to pick the crypto, any coin that you want if you are a winner. So make sure you subscribe and get your chance to enter today. Hey, Bit Squad, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Algorand. Thank you to Algorand for sponsoring this video. By watching this video and engaging down below in the comment section, you are helping to support the channel. A lot of people believe that Algorand is one of the most promising projects of 2019. While many projects that have been developed since 2017 seem to be carbon copies of one another, Algorand has a revolutionary new consensus mechanism that seeks to solve the big three problems we consistently see in the blockchain space. Those three problems are decentralization, scale, and security. In spite of the fact that we see these issues consistently, no one has been able to truly solve these issues yet. Algorand is seeking to be the project that finally solves these problems with their consensus mechanism called Pure Proof of Stake, or PPOS for short. Before we dive into looking at the protocol itself, we need to understand who created it. The founder of Algorand is Silvio Micali. Silvio has been on the faculty of MIT since 1983. He's been doing research into cryptography and security protocols longer than many blockchain CEOs have been alive. Much of his research has been incorporated into other projects. For instance, privacy coin Zcash uses ZK Snarks. They are proof constructions designed to keep the information of a transaction private while still allowing the network to verify the transaction. ZK stands for zero knowledge. Silvio was the co-inventor of zero knowledge proofs. He's been recognized many times for his foundational research into cryptography, including receiving the Distinguished Turing Award for his work in computer science. In 2017, Silvio created Algorand with the goal of creating a borderless economy with a fully decentralized, secure, and scalable blockchain. With 35 years of experience in cryptography, one has to believe that if anyone could achieve it, it could be Silvio. So let's jump into how Algorand plans to solve these problems through the pure, uh, pure proof of stake protocol. The protocol is really what separates this project from others. It's built on the Byzantine consensus and cannot be forked. In this permissionless mechanism, each user on the network is able to influence the choice of new blocks based on its stake of tokens. Proposals of blocks and voting on block proposals are done by users who are randomly secretly selected. The more coins that are staked by a node, the more likely it is to be selected, but every user staking coins has a chance to propose blocks. So let's take a quick look at the two most popular consensus protocols and how they compare, uh, compare to pure proof of stake. The original protocol is obviously proof of work, also known as POW. It's the grandfather consensus mechanism, but many people consider it to be outdated already. While proof of work does have a lot of security, there are a lot of problems with it. Proof of work is done by miners who solve complex cryptographic puzzles in order to produce blocks and earn rewards. Over time, these puzzles get harder and harder to solve. This makes speed an issue on a proof of work network. But really the largest issue with POW is that it sucks up so many resources in the form of electricity. As the environment becomes a bigger issue in the world, there will be more voices rising up to condemn proof of work, aka Bitcoin mining, due to the electricity costs. When politicians bring up Bitcoin, this is one of the first things they bring up. The future does not bode well for proof of work. Many projects use what's called delegated proof of stake, or DPOS. The problem with this system is that there is a very small percentage of the community that's able to produce blocks. So basically a very small subset of users could actually prevent other users from transacting. PPOS makes this impossible as it may be the most decentralized network we have seen yet. Pre pure proof of stake adds security to the network because attackers would have to attack every stakeholder in order to bring down the network. With DPOS systems such as EOS, everyone knows who the 21 block producers are. If someone wanted to cause an attack, they would know exactly which nodes on the network they would need to go after. A highly targeted and sophisticated attack toward a known group of users could bring down a network with a limited number of block producers. With Algorand, there's no specific group of users in charge of generating blocks, so this type of attack is just not possible. The network is very scalable. When we talk about scalability, basically what we're talking about is will this network be able to maintain the same speed and process of producing blocks regardless of how large the network grows. While cryptocurrency and decentralized platforms are so new, the networks don't need to be able to perform a huge amount of transactions in the beginning. However, in 2017, we saw a huge rush of transactions on the Ethereum network due to the popularity of CryptoKitties. That was the point at which Ethereum realized that the way it was currently constructed would not be scalable with the addition of more users. 
So this gave new projects the advantage of being able to learn from Ethereum's mistake and to get it right from the outset. Algorand is highly scalable because new blocks are generated as fast as they can be propagated through the network. Regardless of how large the network grows, the size of users chosen to propose blocks will be constant. Unlike proof of work where cryptographic puzzles must be solved, Algorand's process of choosing blocks is extremely simple. This means that along with the network being able to scale, transaction costs will always remain low. The speed and low cost of transactions on the network put its throughput on the same level as large payments in financial networks. As a permissionless blockchain, there's no approval of a trusted authority. Everyone who participates in the network is on the same level. There's no special group of users like we see with other blockchains. Everyone has an equal opportunity to participate and also to receive rewards. Since the power of the network is held in the hands of the users staking on the system, everyone is able to receive rewards from block production. Users receive a proportional reward based on their stake for every block that's produced. This encourages new users to join the network, but it also helps to increase the decentralization. Algorand is also open sourced. This means that anyone can audit, use, or build on Algorand's code. This is foundational to decentralization and transparency. There's no secret recipe that Algorand has that others can't see. I think of Coca-Cola. It's got a secret vault with a secret recipe for Coke. While they've certainly made billions of dollars with holding that recipe from others, only a few have truly benefited. With an inclusive, open source, borderless economy, everyone gets to share in the benefits. This is what decentralization is all about. So solving the issues of decentralization, security, and scalability could certainly catapult Algorand among the premier projects in the cryptocurrency landscape. The goal of creating a borderless economy could be much closer to reality than many people realize. One company who certainly understands the future of borderless economy is Facebook. With the announcement of LibreCoin, they've jumped front and center into the crypto world. Along with creating their own cryptocurrency, Facebook has also been shopping looking for blockchain companies to acquire. While Algorand is certainly one of the newer projects on the scene, Facebook saw their value back in 2018 as Algorand was one of 12 startups that Facebook was interested in acquiring. Some of the companies that Facebook has acquired include Instagram, WhatsApp, Oculus VR, and many others. If Facebook is interested in what you do, then you know you have something big on your hands. While many companies would jump at the shot to be bought by Facebook for the financial benefits, Algorand chose to be independent. I believe this shows just the confidence that Silvio and his team have about this project. So let's talk about the token sale. The way that Algorand distributes its tokens is very different than any project I've seen. Instead of a traditional ICO or IEO, Algorand has chosen to sell its tokens called Algos through what is called a Dutch auction mechanism. This means that the market sets the price per token instead of a team coming up with a random price. This certainly lines up with Algorand's transparent and innovative economic model. The first token sale occurred in June and it raised $60 million. The uniform price for Algo for the sale was $2.40 and they sold out 25 million tokens in just four hours. The total supply of Algo is 10 billion and the goal for Algorand is to auction off 600 million Algos per year. So the 25 million token sale was just a small percentage of what Algorand plans to do in the future. So what are my overall thoughts and personal opinion about Algorand? Well, the more that I looked into the project, the more that I saw what they're doing is totally different than a lot of other projects. It, they seem to really be focusing. We hear this all the time, right? We hear all the time people say, let's focus on the tech. Let's focus on the technology. But yet everyone is obsessed with the price. We see it every single day. If a project starts dropping down coin market cap, everyone's freaking out. But the speculative nature of cryptocurrency currently doesn't have a ton to do with the technology and the actual product. But in the future, that's going to change. And you're going to want to find projects that are really going to be able to offer something different in the form of their technology or in the way that they're decentralized. And Algorand certainly seems to fit into that category. They really focus on the protocol first. That's the most important thing when it comes to Algorand. They feel like if they can't get the protocol right, if everything is not in order, then nothing else is going to work. So they're just going to focus on making sure that this is the most decentralized, most scalable, and most secure blockchain. So you definitely have to give them props for focusing on the tech and not being so concerned with the money. And the fact that they didn't have a traditional ICO or even an IEO, I think it's another good sign. I think it just really lines up with everything that they're trying to do in, in terms of being decentralized, 
a borderless economy, transparent. This project seems to be really and truly what cryptocurrency is all about, what decentralization is all about. You're taking the power out of the hands of a few and you're giving it to the people. You're giving it to the community. And the pure proof of stake protocol is really designed to do that. And so for me, I was really impressed with the ideals of this blockchain. So the technology is innovative, it's new, but the ideals of what they're trying to do, I think are also great. And when you really look into the founder, Silvio, uh, you really find someone who has been in this space for a long time, longer than almost anyone. I hope he doesn't feel old when I say I was only one years old when he got into cryptography, but I was only one year old when he got into cryptography. So, you know, to me, you have experience. We, we see this a lot with blockchain companies. They have founders who are brand new to crypto, who are brand new to this tech world. They're very, very young. And for me personally, I prefer someone that's got a lot of experience. Now, we do have people like Vitalik Buterin that are just absolute geniuses. He created Ethereum at 19, yada, yada, yada. But for me, having someone who has that background, who has that experience, it, it really shows that it's someone who's not in this for the fly by night. You know, they're not in here to make a bunch of money. They're really here because they truly understand cryptography in the future because they've been working on it forever. So, you know, he's, uh, Silvio's received the Touring Award. There's many, many other awards that he's received. So for me, that gives me a lot of confidence in this project. And for other projects who have other CEOs that have a lot of experience in the world of computer science or, you know, other realms that are relative or related to cryptocurrency, that gives me much more confidence in those projects than some that, like I said, just popped up overnight. They got a, a, a degree last year and they've created a project this year. So, you know, this is something that definitely bodes well, I believe, for the future of Algorand and this project. I do believe this is gonna be one that's been around for a long time. And when you factor in the fact that uh, Facebook considered purchasing Algorand, I think that also shows you that it's not just an internal confidence in Algorand, it's also an external confidence in Algorand from other people that are looking in and seeing what they are doing and are very, very impressed. So for me personally, of course, this isn't financial advice, this is a sponsored video, but this is a project now after doing this review and really looking into it, I'm very excited about. I'm really excited to see where this project is gonna go, and I would encourage you to do more research on it. If you look at CoinMarketCap right now, uh, Algorand is not, it is listed, but it's it, the total or the circulating supply is not known, so it's ranked very, very low. However, over time, that supply is going to be known, uh, you know, probably over the next month, somewhere around there, and we're gonna see where it's gonna stack up on CoinMarketCap, and I think you guys are gonna be surprised how high this thing is gonna go. I think it's gonna be listed pretty high, uh, not like you know some other brand new projects that get listed somewhere in the 400s, 500s. I think it'll be higher than that. So I'm not gonna really speculate on where I think it will be, but I do believe that this is going to be a legit project. You're gonna be hearing a lot about it and there's a lot of excitement behind it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and comment on this video for your contest entry, but also to help engage with the sponsored content to support the channel. So we'll talk to you guys later. BitBoy out.